Hey everyone, just a quick word before we get started on this beer review. If you're interested in purchasing any of these beers that you see on my channel, stick around to the end of the video and I will tell you where you can purchase them at online. Now isn't that lovely? Have beer shipped right to your home and don't have to go anywhere. All right, enjoy the video. Cheers to that. Welcome, my friends. Thanks so much for stopping by once again as we sample some more great tasting international beer with Dr. Dave. Fantastic. And now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today, a beer I've never had. Now, I've had the lager from this brewery many, many times, even on tap, but I've never had this particular beer. It's from the Kronenberg Brewery, located in Aubernay, France. And this is the 1664 Wheat Beer. Never had the wheat beer before. Now, the only thing I don't like is I looked on the label here. Oh, yeah, the expiration date's fine. But it says it's brewed with glucose. Mmm, why in the heck would you put glucose in a wheat beer? Yeah, it's not, uh, glucose is going to make it taste sweet, maybe, or maybe they use it as a stabilizer. I don't know. But anyway, this checks in to 5% alcohol by volume, and I do have some glassware from this brewery, but it's a big mug, and this beer wouldn't look right in it. So I'm just going to use some glassware I have here. Let me go ahead and open this very carefully so I can preserve this bottle cap because I don't have this bottle cap. The one I have is red. This one is blue. So 1664. Yeah, I'm so happy to see that brewers are still putting uh, beers in bottles. Oh, that's a beautiful blue color too, isn't it? Yeah. All right, so we're going to use this glassware right here. Uh, after I washed it and rinsed it, and I said, you know what? That's really not the proper glassware for this beer, but it's only 11 ounces, and all my wheat beer glasses are 16 ounces. So. Yeah, this is 11 ounce. At least it'll look good in here, but the, the foam is probably going to build up because if this is a true wheat beer, a little bit of yeast was added at the bottling process. So it's a live beer and it's going to build up a lot of carbonation. We'll find out in a minute if it's a live beer. We'll be able to tell right away. Yeah, I, I would say it is because it's uh, it's building up. Yeah, that head is, is coming up quick. Yeah, so I would say this is a live cultured beer. There's uh, definitely some yeast added at the bottling process. Oh, lovely. Definitely some yeast in there, some wheat. Hmm, smells a little lemony as well, which is okay, you know. I just had a wheat beer not too long ago with lemongrass. Man, that was tasty. So you see, if I would have had a little bit wider uh, mouth on this, it wouldn't have built up so much foam, but it's okay. Now, it is rather cloudy, as you would expect a wheat beer to be. I'm anxious to try this, though. Never had this beer from Cronenberg. So uh, I've told you about the aroma. Let's thank the brewers there at Cronenberg in France for all the hard work they put into brewing this batch of beer and getting it here to the United States. Many thanks to them, and thank you at home for watching. Cheers. Mm, man. A little bit of sweetness in there from that glucose, but... I think they put the glucose in here to kind of flatten out the lemon that's in here. Definitely some lemon in here. It's good, though. Man, it's refreshing. I'll tell you what, on a hot day, this this would be really good to sit out on the patio or the balcony with. Oh, man, this is this is a killer beer right here. Man, it is good. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm not going to be able to fit all this beer in here. So what I'm going to do later, I, I still have, you can see how much I have left in here. I'm going to switch the contents around, and I'm going to pour it in here, and that's going to change the entire complexity of the beer. It's probably going to become, an, uh, become even more of a lemon presence in there, and it's going to become more cloudy. Unfortunately, I can't do it on this video because I don't drink that much beer on each video. I only drink about three to four ounces. 
But uh, the thing is that it's really going to change the complexion of the beer. But I will take a picture of the finished product. You'll see a picture of it as the thumbnail. And this is a good beer, though. Well, you know, I, I can switch it around a little bit here. Um, this is a real, oh, yeah, you see? Yeah, it, you're not going to fit a lot in here because, uh, yeah, see, it's getting a little more cloudy. And I still have uh, quite a bit left there, a couple ounces. This is a, an excellent beer. Now, I was a little put off by the fact that it had glucose in there, but uh, it's taming down the lemon because lemon, if you have too much lemon in a beer, that's that's the worst thing ever, man, because you go, ooh, mm, yuck. <laughs> you need some water after that. That's very good. Again, this is from Cronenberg. Uh, this is in uh, Aubernay, France, the 1664 Blanc. And this is the wheat beer, 5% alcohol. I, I would recommend it. Oh, uh, I'm not going to quite get it all in there. All right. Yeah, so there it is. I, I think you would agree it's a little more hazy than it was. Lively carbonation flowing up from the bottom. Just a beautiful presentation. Look at that. Man, I have to take a picture of that before that uh, foam goes away. All right, my friends. I would describe this as a light body beer. Um, it's got medium carbonation on it, and I, I would say it's got a medium mouthfeel. And, uh, yeah, because it stays in your mouth. It's just not one of those watered-down wheat beers. Because I've had so many watered-down wheat beers, it's not funny. This has some substance to it. It's very good. A good refresher for a hot day. But remember, if you drink beer on a hot day, you're really depleting. <laughs> your your, your uh, alcohol, not your alcohol, I'm sorry, but your water store in your body. But who cares? It tastes good, right? It tastes good. All right, my friends, life is short. Let's be happy and try new things like this beer. You won't be disappointed, I guarantee it. Until we meet next time, here's wishing all of you the very best of goodbyes. And as always, cheers. Okay, everyone, as promised, Dr. Dave's going to tell you where he buys his beers and where you can buy them also. First on the list is RivalryBrews.com. Now, don't worry. I'm going to put the links in the description box for you. Rivalry Brews is a relatively new mail order place. It's based right here in Ohio in Medina, and they are fantastic. I tell you what, when they first started, I got free shipping on all the beers. Now, I think they, they charged me $2.00. $2 for 12 beers. That's fantastic. Now, as far as I know, they ship to the lower 48, but you might want to check the website on that. I can't be 100% sure. But the shipping is fast. The turnaround is fast. And if anything's wrong, they will fix it right away. I only had one issue with them. And they refunded half my purchase order, which I thought was more than fair. More than fair. So anyway, uh, by the way, disclaimer, I don't get any money on any of this. I'm not affiliated with any of these beer companies. They don't know I'm doing this. I'm just telling you where to buy the beer. Now, one day I may be affiliated, and if I am at that point, I'll certainly let you know. So Rivalry Brews, located right here in Ohio. They specialize in Ohio beers, uh, beers from Pennsylvania and Indiana. So if you want some good Ohio craft beer, that's a good place to start. The second one on my list, oh, I love this place. It's called Halftime Beer. Halftime Beer has two locations in New York State, Poughkeepsie, and I believe it's pronounced Mamoronic. Mamoronic. Yeah, don't quote me on that pronunciation. I tried my best. Yeah, anyway. They have more beer online than you could possibly look at in a day. I'm telling you, they have beer everywhere on that website. And all you have to do is go on there, make your selection, and have it shipped. Now, they do have gift boxes, which come with a really nice cooler. Yeah, and uh, you can't beat it. It's $5 shipping on those uh, special orders. Now, on the other beers, the shipping can get a little bit pricey, but I've never had an order for more than $20 shipping, which I think is really good for 12 bottles of beer. Now, if you get cans, it's less cost because it, less, it weighs less 
Uh, and that's what costs the money is the weight and the size of the box. So, yeah, check them out. Now, I belong to two of their uh, what's known as Beer of the Month Club. I'm in their German Beer of the Month Club. So I get 12 bottles from six different breweries, two of each, once a month. And there's a lot of beers in there that I've never heard of from Germany. I thought I had them all, not even close. And then I have the Around the World Beer Club, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's beers from all over the world. So far, I only got one beer that I didn't really like. Uh, you know, it happens. It happens. And, uh, you know, you take your chances on that. But uh, I got some beer from South Korea, of all places, South Korea. I thought it was really, really good. Now, last on the list, but not least, and I didn't put these in any particular order, it's the best damn beer shop. Now, they're out of San Diego, and they have a killer selection, I'm telling you. Matter of fact, talking about all this beer, I'm going to have to have one here. Mm. That's just a regular run-of-the-mill Pilsner, German style, but it hits the spot on a day like this. Anyway, best damn beer shop. Woo! Now, their shipping, they require you to uh, choose in lots of six. So you can get six, 12, 18, 24 is the maximum. And uh, their shipping is reasonable considering I'm on the East Coast and they're on the West Coast. Yeah, the shipping is generally about $19 for a 12 bottle selection, which I don't think is a lot. $19? No, I don't think that's a lot. Now, the more beer you buy, the less money it's going to cost. That's just a fact of economics. So if you want to buy six beers, it's going to cost more to ship it than the 12. Hey, I, I don't make the rules, man. Just buy more beer. You save more money on shipping. What can I tell you? Yeah, but they're a great place. And uh, so all, all three of those places, Rivalry Brews uh, for Ohio beers. And then you have the uh, Halftime Beverage, which is in New York. They have a selection on everything. And same thing with Best Damn Beer Shop. Now, if you want some West Coast beers that you can't find in your town, that's the place to buy them at. Last but not least, people always ask me, what is that on your beer glass? Well, I bought it at Amazon, Amazon Amazon.com. It's called a Vacuvin, Vacuvin. And if I'm not mistaken, it's from uh, Sweden, if I'm not mistaken. And the inside of it is lined with special material. So what you do is you put this in the freezer, you let it sit overnight, and then you put your beverage in here. And it will maintain that beverage at around 38 degrees, which is really cold for a beer. But I like my pills just cold. Now, if you already have a beer that warmed up, put it in here and it'll bring it to the proper temperature, no doubt. And I said last, but I I was mistaken. This is the last thing I want to talk about. Uh, Dr. Day's beer glasses. Now, I did sell these a number of years ago when I had my other beer channel. and. This is a new design, though. This is a different design. Now, I could sell these if there's enough interest in them, but I have to order them uh, about 144 at a time. So I don't want to order them unless there's some real interest in them. Now, it's difficult to see on here, but it says Dr. Dave's cheap-ass beer reviews. Yeah, uh, it's not really going to come out that well there on the camera, but I would sell these uh, at cost. Now, I'm not trying to make any money on them. I think it cost me fourteen ninety eight to uh to have those made, so I would sell them at the same price now I don't know if the price could have gone up because I did buy those a few years back so but I would sell them at cost if anybody's interested but uh like I said, I don't get any money off these links. there's no affiliate uh, affiliate links here. I'm not making any money. I just wanted to let everybody know where I buy my beer so you could buy it too. Oh, and you know I almost forgot. The Amazing Clubs Beer of the Month Club. Amazing Clubs. I'll put all the links in the description box. Knock yourself out. Hey, thanks for watching, okay? And Dr. Dave says cheers to that.